All right, hello, hello, folks. Happy Friday. Welcome back. We have our Imam workout today. Daniel and Suma, they're going to join us. I'm going to talk about the movements as usual, five exercises, and then we'll get started after that. They're going to warm up. You can follow them. You can do your own routine. You can practice the movements with me. We need a pair of light or medium dumbbells today. Uh, we have five movements, and it's a Friday Imam, so what we're going to do is that Friday format where we do number one, we do that for five rounds, then number two for five rounds, then number three for five, so we go all of one before we move on to the next, right? So, for us, it is the first workout of the new year, for us, but for you folks, it is almost the end of January, so hopefully you have been having a good month. We're going to finish off this week with a nice Imam. The first exercise, we have a row in either a bear hold or a bear crawl or a renegade row position, depending on how you are feeling. So, we've got a row, so weights here. If you want to, the easier version here is this renegade row position. If this is challenging enough for you, you'll hold this position. If you can make it more challenging, what you'll do is bring your knees closer. Right, the closer they are to the dumbbells, the harder it is. You can bring them somewhere in the middle if you want to. Whatever makes it more challenging for you. Right, holding this nice and still to that row. Bring it up, bring it back down. Three to six per side. If you want to make it more challenging, Daniel may throw these, a couple of these in later on. We're going to do a walking version. So, in this position here, have your knees inside. Have your knees on the inside, have your dumbbells on the outside. So you have these lanes. You're going to take a step forward and then do your row. And you're going to slowly crawl forward as you do your row. Much more challenging here. If you're doing this version, you might be on that lower end, that three per side of that range, right? That's your first one. You're, Renegade row, hold, or your beast hold, or your bear crawl with the row. Three to six rows per side. That's number one. When you do all the reps of that, when you finish your reps, you get the rest of that minute to rest. When the next minute begins, you'll begin the exercise again. You repeat each exercise for five total rounds, and then we move on to the next one. The next one, we have a dead bug with the chest fly. So, lower back, round it down, push down, legs up here. Arms close together like a big hug. You have that chest fly as you do your chest fly. As you open your arms out, you bring your leg down. Bring it down. Open out and tap the arms, and then bring it back in. So everything comes in and up at the same time. Everything goes down and out at the same time. In and up at the same time. Down and out at the same time. All right, this will be four to eight per leg. All right, let me show you from the front here. So you can see my arms. You can see they're bent here. Bent, elbows bent like two, two big parentheses, like a big circle here at the top. My lower back's down, I extend one leg out, the other leg stays still as I open out, and I bring it back in. All right, so just one leg stays still, the other three limbs move. All right, four to eight per side of those. Now, number three, we have a hip up, so corkscrew hip up or regular hip up, up to you. I'll put my weights here. All right, so hands on the ground here, on your hips if you want to. You can even put them on your dumbbells if you want to, whatever is most comfortable. But you're going to use your hips, you're going to bring it up and twist as you come up. So twisting the hips as you raise them up. Twist, bring it down slowly. Twist, bring it down slowly. Twist, bring it down slowly, right? Four to eight per side. If you don't want to do the twist, then just do a regular hip up and just double the reps, right? So instead of four to eight per side, just make it eight to 16, all right? That is your number three. Number four, we have an oblique crunch. So, lying down here all the way on your side, leg here in front of you a little bit, all the way down, so other arm just out here or in front of you. Push with, other arm on top, put it behind your head, like that, elbow to knee, push up with this arm, bring your legs up, and then crunch, right? Make sure you come up evenly. If you bring your torso up too soon, then you can't bring your legs up enough. If you bring your legs up too soon, you can't bring your torso up enough, right? So make sure you come up evenly, right? Bending the knees, elbow to knee, all right? To make it more challenging, straight leg, like that. To make it even more challenging, you got a dumbbell here, Add that dumbbell, raise it up tall here, and then do your rep with the dumbbell. Straight leg, or bent, up to you. Four to eight per side. That is number four. And then the final exercise here, we have a squat with a curl and a press. That's all it is. The press though will be with a underhand grip. So, weights here in front of you, big stance here, big sumo squat stance. The squat down, as you come up, you do a bicep curl, and then press it up. All right, no twisting here, so keep it in front of your palms facing you. So let me show you again. Squat, curl, press. All right, let me show you without the dumbbells so you can see my hands here. Squat, do that curl, and press. All right, just like that. All right, keep your core braced, of course. Six to 10 of those, that's number five. All right, and those are the five. Uh, so these folks here, they're gonna finish up the stretches that they're doing. They're gonna, when they're ready, give me 15 jumping jacks. 
Same thing, folks at home. Finish up the stretches you're doing. Give me 15 jumping jacks, about 15, and then we'll all get started after that. Of course, if you need to, pause, do whatever you need to do, do more stretches, rewind and watch all this again, fast forward in the future, and uh, watch some of the exercises before you start them, if you really want to get a good look at them. If you forgot the rep ranges, I'll say them a lot, but you can also scroll down and look in the description, I will put that there too. But, here we go. folks here, there's no, uh, no pausing, no fast forwarding for us, we're about to get started. That first one is that row, right? either in the beast hold, or the crawl, or the renegade row. So the further back your legs are, then the easier it is, right? The wider your legs are, the easier it is too, right? Three to six rows per side. All right, folks here, feeling good? Feeling ready? Ready. All right, here we go, folks. Round one here. Starting in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin here. Round one, folks. Round one, three to six rows per side. Three to six per side. Daniel's gonna do the crawl here, so he's gonna take a step forward. He does his row, he's gonna take another step forward. And then he's gonna do his row. So over here, this is the most challenging version here you can do, and his knees are close to the floor. He may only get like three per side, all right? Yeah, they both have heavy weights. They may both only get like three per side because they have heavy weights. All right, 39 seconds left. But if you have lighter weights at home, you might get more than three. But it's only three to six per side. Good, good. Yeah, nice. Done? Yeah. I got one more in me. Yeah, I got good, 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 good. 26 seconds. You can get one more. Now, today it's, Friday. it's a Friday format, so when you're done, you get to just sit there and relax. All right, and the next round will begin again the same exercise. So you don't have to feel like you don't have to transition, you don't have to rush. All right, 15 seconds, you just hang out, stay right there. Just, just chill. 10 seconds, we go again. Three to six for a side. Okay, we go. Four, three, four, four. Nice, very nice. Five. 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 Nice, very nice. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. All right, let's see what we do. So the first round, he was doing the crawl version, you now he's just doing the hold version. He may go back to the crawl for the very last round, but he just wanted to test it out for the first one. He's going to go to the crawl, the same still holding version, the beast hold here, just like that. And he's just going to maybe, he got four last time, he might get five or six this time. You have 40 seconds left, staying still. So it's a very challenging version, when the knees are close to the floor, staying still. Now, the closer your knees are to your dumbbells, the harder it is. If you want to make it easier, then bring your legs out, bring your legs further back. Right? Like more like a push-up position, more like a renegade row position. 25 seconds left, more like this position here. Bring your legs further back to make it easier. Widen your legs to make it easier. 19 seconds left, hopefully wrapping up here kind of soon. Wrap it up here kind of soon, nice. Same thing, Simon? Right, there you go. There you go. All right, good stuff, here we go. 10 seconds, there we go. Now they're starting to pick it up, good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Alright, good. Let's take a look. Nice and still here. As you do the row, it's very important to stay still. So if you start to move around and wiggle around a lot, then what that means is you should move your legs further back. Move your legs further back. Try not to go on your knees though. Don't be on your knees. If you need to, bring your legs further back and hold this push-up position and do it in this push-up position. But try not to be on your knees. Unless you need to. At 38 seconds left. If you need to, drop to your knees. If you are on your knees, which try not to, but do not have your knees here, put them back in this plank position. So hold a knee plank like this. Do. So if you have to do your knees, slide them back. All right, if you have to, but I prefer hold that push-up position if you can. Twenty seconds. Good timing. Same thing. Same thing. Nice. Very nice. Seventeen seconds. Good. And you're getting close. Good. 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 Now, if you want to, you can, you can do one side until you finish all your reps, then do the other side. You can do like that if you want to. We can alternate. Up to you. Up to you. Nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice, good. Good, and then row at the top. It's a row. The row is the same row you always do, right? Elbows up, weight toward the hips. A little, little hold at the top, not a long hold. Just a, enough of a hold that you can clearly feel yourself stopping for a moment. Just maybe half a second, one second maybe. So don't bounce it up. Hold for just, just a moment. Just pause for just a moment. Don't, don't rush it. Right. We got 24 seconds left. Hopefully wrapping up kind of the same thing. All right, very nice. Good. The body's getting go. harder. Yeah, it's hey, but it's we got one more round. Just so we got depending on the same thing. Same thing. Five. 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 Good. Here we go. Here we go. Final round. We've made it. You just gotta do one more time. Here we go. You got a lot of time for this final round. Here we go. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and. 
we get in final round, folks. So the final round here. It's cool because we got a 30 second break afterwards anyway, so what that means is these folks will be getting five, they're going to give me six each side. Or they might go for the full minute and not even worry about counting. If you're tired of counting, if you know you're not going to get in that range, then just go for the full minute anyway, take your time, and just get like three per side. Or if you want to do a more challenging version, but you couldn't before because you would run out of time, you wouldn't have enough time to do it, you can do the more challenging version now and just go for the full minute, right? So you got a lot of cool options for the final round. Yeah, 30 seconds in means we have 30 seconds left. Okay, and then we get a 30 second break anyway, and the one after this we just lie down on our back, so the transition is easy, not a big deal. So you can go for that full minute. These two are going to aim for six, or the full minute, or maybe both. Hey folks at home, give me one more than you got last time, or go for the full minute. Challenge, push yourself a little, because in 11 seconds we don't see this anymore. Eight seconds left, go ahead, go ahead. There you go, good, good, good. Five, four, three, two, one, and five. Right, see a six, six, eight, eight, eight. Time. Eight. Eight. eight, all right, look at that. Number two, folks, we're done with that. We don't see that anymore. Forget about that now. All right, place your weights here on either side. Have the seat in between them. We have the chest fly with the dead bones here. I'll show you from the front view to the side. We have the back view. Here we go. 15 seconds. Maybe I'll put this over here. So, let's see. All right. 10 seconds. Here we go. Let me show you what it looks like from the front view. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's be in. Four to eight per side. Four to eight per side. So folks at home, if you if you're watching this, if you're doing the exercise, you probably can't see me right now, but if you are watching this, you can see my elbows are bent, my lower back's down, my arms open out like a big hug, my leg extends out as my arms go out. And as my arms come in, my leg comes in. And then I do with the other leg. Four to eight per leg. Four to eight per leg. Right? Now if you're going slow and you have heavy weights like these two, then you might only get four per leg. If you got lighter weights, if you go a little bit faster, well I'd say slow it down if you got lighter weights. But if you got lighter weights, you may be getting closer to that eight per side. Uh, make sure that lower back stays down. So don't march up. Lower back stays down. The shoulders can lie down. 17 seconds left. Here we go. Yeah, start to wrap it up. Start to wrap it up. Yeah, start to wrap it up. Ten seconds left. Don't you over here? Five per side, very nice. Good. 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 How much you get? How much you get there? Six. Good. All right. All right. Kind of close. Heavier. Here we go. Oh, heavier. Good. I like it. Here we go. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Very nice. Here we go. So she got six per leg that time, and but now, but she wants to go a little bit heavier. So maybe she get she'll get four per side. Good. Keep your waist there in line with your chest. So don't let them drift up to your head. Don't let them drift down to your belly. Keep them in line with the chest there. Yeah. It's all right here. Don't bring them up too high. Put them right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't bring them up too high. Yeah. Lower back down, yep. Extend the leg out as you're going down. Yep. Four to eight per leg. Four to eight per leg. Count the legs. Just do one, one fly, one hug per leg, right? The leg goes out. The other leg stays still, right? Don't, move it. Don't do anything with that other leg. Only one leg extends out slowly and then bring it back in. 20 seconds left. 20 seconds left. Wrap it up kind of soon, folks. Again, it's tempting to go for more, but you do want a little rest. Now at home, if you have lighter weights, then you can cut it close to so You don't need as much of a rest if your weights are kind of light. Or if you're stronger than the weights you have, I should say. Here we go, folks. Next round in five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Nice. There you go. Let's see what we back here. Nice. Keep the weights in line with the chest. So just go straight out to the side. Don't go up to the head. Don't go down to the belly. Right there. Slight bend in the elbows there. Like a big hug. It should look like a big hug. So you're not doing, not just opening it. You're opening the hug and you close the hug. You squeeze at the top. You're looking at your arms. It looks like a big circle. Close your arms, it looks like a big circle. Right? Close. Go back down, stretch the leg out. Good, nice, nice, nice. There we go. 30 seconds left, folks. Good, nice. There you go, good stuff, good stuff, good. Alright, good stuff. Good. Close it. Nice, nice. There we go, good. 22 seconds. Good, nice. How much you got over here? Four. Nice, good, good. Look at that. She was going slow, she has heavy weights. She got four per side. Excellent. Daniel, how'd you go here? 15. Four. Nice, four, good. I like it. Right in that, right in that range, right in that perfect number there. Here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Let's begin. So, like I said earlier, you got heavy weights like these two, and you're going slow, you got a nice full range of motion, then you might be barely getting four. Notice how they're slowly lowering your arms, right? They're going down. If anything, they're going down speed is slower than going up, right? It's slow going down and up. Your legs are going down slow, they got a lot of range of motion there. So they're gonna barely get four per side. Alright? You have 38 seconds left. If your weights, if you're much stronger than the weights you have, you might be able to get more. If you're not going down that far with the legs, 
Or if you're going a little bit faster than you should, then you might be able to get more. But slow it down. Especially if you wait to like slow it down. You have 25 seconds left. So maybe just one or two more per side there. Give yourself a little rest. We got one more round coming up. There you go. Okay, okay, go ahead, Daniel. Good. Good. Right, four, two, four. four. Nice, nice. Good, good. 13 seconds. Good. I like it. I like it. I like it, folks. Here we go. 10, 9, 8. Daniel, 4. Good. Here we go. Final round. Here we go. Final time. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's begin. Final round. Final round. Good, I like it. Good stuff. Good stuff. This is their first workout of the year, so they are starting off the year well. Well and strong. Good. Folks, I hope, I hope this is not the first workout of the year. It's, it's almost the end of January. But if, if it happens to be, then this is a good one. 37 seconds left. Good, good. Now, it's the final round, so again, you get that 30 second break afterwards anyway, so they don't have to worry about time. They've been getting four, they can go for five comfortably now, they have plenty of time for it. Or they can just go for that full minute. If they want to slow it down, and they go for that full minute, they can. You got 20 seconds left, so do whatever you want, folks. As long as you push yourself a little bit more on that final round, that's the key. You can add reps, or just go for that full minute. 13 seconds left. Nice. Here we go. Go ahead, go ahead. Nine seconds. Good, 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 good. Nice. You got six. You have five, you have four, you have three, two, one, and time. Fantastic. Great. Look at that, folks. Number two done. Three more to go. Corkscrew hip up. You're going to break for the arms, just the core now. So they're going to stay. They can stay right there. Lie back, lift your legs straight up there. Add a little twist as you come up. It's four to eight per side. When you twist to one side, so it's four to eight twists per side. 13 seconds. Then we begin that. If you just want to go straight up, no twisting, then just, just double it. Eight to 16. Double it. Here we go, folks. Six. Five, four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Good, nice. Now, going when you lower down, folks, don't slam your hips down. Lower down gently. Gently place your hips down. All right. Your legs, they don't have to go too low. They can stay up there. So he doesn't have to bring you back. He can stay right there. Yeah. This makes it more challenging. Yeah. If he stays right there, if he doesn't go too low, keep it up there. Keep it close to you. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's more challenging here. Four to eight per side. Four to eight per side. Good. There you go. Exhale as he comes up. Really good. Yeah, the slower you go, the more control you place your hips back down, the harder it is. And you may only get four for a side four. If you're doubling, if you're doing the regular hips up, hip ups, eight to sixteen, just double it. Double it. There we go. Good, good. Nice. I like it. Twenty-two seconds left. Good, good, good. Nice. How much you got here, Daniel? Four more side. Very nice. There you go. Good, very good. What you know? What number you got? Good. Fifteen seconds left. Good. Eight per side. Yeah. Oh man, look at that. Excellent. Look at that. Fantastic. All right. All right. We might, that, that, that number might drop a little bit. But I, like, yes. I like that she started with eight. Here we go, folks. Next round. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's begin. Here we go. Good. I like it. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, four. Yeah, eight. Very nice. Both ends of the range here. I like it. Perfect. Perfect stuff. Good. Now, again, it's a range, right? You give that 48 per side or double it if you just do your regular hip, hip ups. A couple, of, couple of, uh, ways you may be outside the range here. If you can't bring your hip ups, hips that high, your reps would be a little bit faster, right? You'd be able to get more reps. If you're not able to bring your hip ups, hips, hips up at all, then you might just do a just a leg raise, lower back down, bring it up. Like it's just a leg raise, lower back down, raise it up, right? So if you can't bring your hips up, then just do the leg raise up and down like this. First crunch, right? 23 seconds left. In which case, you can do, you know, close to that double, double that 48, close to that 16. You have 15 seconds left. Daniel, same thing. Same thing, same thing. Six? Oh, yeah, excellent. Good. There we go. Nice. 10 seconds. Same thing? Yeah, hey. Ah, oh, I like it. That's what? I like it. Five, four, three, two, one. And it's again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. The, uh, it's, it accumulates, it accumulates. You do the same number of reps, but then you realize that I, I, I got 10 seconds less than last time. What happened? Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. Good, nice, nice. Keep control as we come down. I'll slam you down. Keep control as you come down. Keep control. Yeah, push the arms. Use the arms to help. There we go. Use the arms to help. You can have them wide, close, wherever you want. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Use the arms to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 35 seconds left. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna, they're gonna start, they're, you can start to tell. They may have to drop the reps a little bit because they do want a little rest. It accumulates, folks. It is the third exercise. It accumulates. It gets harder and harder. If you keep doing that same number, it's gonna get more challenging to do that same number again. You may have to go eight, then seven, then six, then five. You have 18 seconds left. What's your I know, six on each side. There you go. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Good. Yeah, very nice, very nice. Good. 10 seconds. Isn't this nice? You just get to lie down when you're done. You don't have to go anywhere. You don't have to transition. Imagine having to transition. Here we go, folks. Four, three, two, 
One, and it's again. All right, let's go again, folks. Good. Nice and slow. Gently lower your hips down. Good. Now, if you're able to bring your hips up very high, if you are doing the twist, you might be barely doing the four per side, right? Maybe, again, maybe not even, maybe three per side. There's a wiggle room. There's always wiggle room, right? There's always that wiggle room. Four per side, three per side, same thing, right? Don't make sure you give yourself a rest. As long as you're going for about 40, 45 seconds, that's fine. Again, you can also just go for time. With all imams, you can just go for time, right? So, if let's say it takes you a while to do each rep, you're doing one or two, you have to take a break, sit there for a little bit, then you're not going to get four to eight per side. Then you're just gonna glue for time and just get like three per side, two per side. There you go. 18 seconds left. Good. We just have one more round after this. Good. Nice. How many did? Seven. Okay, good, good, good. Look at that. Nice, Dan. How many you over here? Six. Ah, I like it. Good. Here we go. Final round, folks, in five, four, three, two, one. And let's begin. Final round. We get a 30 second break afterwards anyway before we move into the oblique crunches. So it's more cool after this. Good core stuff. But because it's the final round, what we can do here is we can go for one more than we got last time. These folks, they're gonna actually, these folks, they may aim for eight, right? Because uh, they got close to eight last round. They may aim for eight this round because it's the final time. Yes, 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 yes. Or just go for that full minute. Now, these two going to eight may take them the full minute anyway. But at home, go for maybe one or two more than you got last time, or just go for the full minute. We have 28 seconds left. You don't have to rush, you don't have to rush. You can take your time. You don't have to rush with this one. 20 seconds left, folks. Good. Good. 15. Make sure you exhale as you lift your hips up. Exhale after as you lift your hips up, folks. 10 seconds. Go ahead. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Excellent. Okay. Oh, man, Daniel's doing so hard. Right, but... The, the wind from his, his hip ups made the little, the little sticky note fell down. Alright, folks, number three done. Number four, another easy transition. Just roll on your side, folks. Oblique crunches here. On your side. Danny's gonna use a light dumbbell here. Alright, so over here, she may made, she made dabble with the straight legs, maybe with the bent knees every now and then. Here we go, folks. Ten seconds, four to eight per side. Remember, you do have to switch when you finish one side, so make sure you don't push it too close. Here we go. Four, three, two, one, and let's begin. There you go, yeah, yeah, take your time. So, you don't want, if you move your legs up too soon, then your torso can't come up enough. If you move your torso up too soon, your legs can't come up enough. So, everything comes up evenly. If that means you gotta slow it down and only get four per side, that's fine. Over here, you have the straight legs and the dumbbell, that's an option. You can do bent knees with a dumbbell if you want to. Over here, no dumbbell, but we have, have let's see what we have. We have, we have straight legs, you can do no dumbbell and bent knees too. So, bent knees, straight or bent, with or without the dumbbell. Combinations like that, folks. We have 32 seconds left. Good. So these folks are on their other side. It's a good time because we only have 27 seconds left. So we're gonna we'll hold the top right now. See how much you got with it. Nice eight per side. Look at that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Good. 18 seconds left. Good. Nice, Daniel. Good. Uh -huh. Are we feeling it? We're feeling the core. Here we go, folks. Next round. Back to that first side. Here we go. In eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, and let's begin. Really Notice how they're using that arm. Very important to use that arm. If you don't use that arm, you can't really get up. You can't really come bring your torso up. If you don't use this arm, there's almost no way to bring your torso up without using this arm. So you gotta make sure if you can't bring your torso up, it could be that you're not pushing with this arm. It's, I can't even, without my arm, I can't even bring my torso up. There's no way. So you gotta push with this arm to bring your torso up, right? Push with that arm, come up. Only thing sitting down are my hips here. We are 35 seconds left, so over here, good timing. On that other side, good timing. These, these folks have good timing. 30 seconds left. Good. Exhale is going to make you hold that dumbbell. Make sure it goes straight up. Yep, nice and tall. Good. 23. Nice and really good. How's this? Is this a good first workout of the year? We started the year off well. Yeah. Really good. Excellent. Good. 17. Good timing. Good timing. What are we going over here? Same thing, Simon? Nice. Daniel, what's going over here? Good, good. I like it. Perfect. Four to eight first side. Perfect, folks. Here we go. Back to that first side for me. In six, five, four, three, two, one. And let's begin. Nice. All right. Exhaling as we come up. Good. That arm, good. Good. It's going to be more comfortable if you have that arm somewhere next to you. Don't have it too high up. Have it somewhere where you can actually see it, right? Where you can push it. If it's too high up, it's hard to push it. So somewhere right next to you, just like these two. Good. You have 40 seconds left. Good timing, right? Right, right around now is a good time to switch. Good, right? Good timing. Good timing. Good timing. 
Nice. Thanks, yeah, those are coming up good. Other hand, if you're not using the weight, you just have it back here just like Suma. Don't pull on your head. Just have your arm back there out of the way. You don't even have to have it. You can have a fist here like this. Don't pull your head. Just have your arm up there out of the way. Elbow coming close to your legs. If you have your straight legs, your elbow may not might not touch your knee. That's fine. You're bending your knees, then you can aim, aim to touch your knee to your elbow. 15 seconds left. Great timing. They both finish at 45 seconds. Fantastic timing. Look at that. Great. Same thing over here. Eight. Same thing. Eight. 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 E
four, three, two, one, and let's begin. Let's round. Here we go. A little push press with the legs too. Can do that as well. Help to do the press there. Yeah, she's got two heavy dumbbells there. So she's gonna have a little push press like that. Exactly, exactly. So we start to throw that in if you need to. Help with that press. Nice. Go ahead, right, folks. 40 seconds left. Good. Yeah, feet wide here. Yeah, curl. Nice and still. Flex the legs. Flex the core. If your midsection is too relaxed, if your rib cage isn't down, if your abs aren't flexed, you're gonna start to arch back too much as you press. So keep it nice and solid. Nice and braced there. Good. There we go. 25 seconds left. Good. Good. Yep. Yeah. Squat. His hips are back. His knee and his shin and foot all aligned. He's gonna press it nice and high there. Good. There we go. 18. Five. Good, 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 good. Here we go. Yeah, so there's some wiggle room. She's got heavy weight. She's getting five. Same thing as six. Here we go, folks. Ten. Nine. Eight. Here we go. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. And let's begin. Let's begin. Here we go. Good, good, good. So same thing. So just like it's six to ten with wiggle room, you can get five. Just like over over here. But you can also get 11, right? so don't stop at 10, especially if, you, if you're just stuck with a pair of light dumbbells that you're too, you're too strong for. You don't have to just get 10, go more than 10, right? go with 11 or 12. right? Just like there's some wiggle room to go down, there's some wiggle room to go up as well. Good. 35 seconds again, the heaviest combination of weights you can do. Ideally, you're somewhere close to that 6 to 10, a little bit of wiggle room, but ideally somewhere in the middle. So don't drop to 1 just so that you can easily do 10. Right? You're not trying to easily do 10, you're trying to barely do 6 to 10. All right. 20 seconds left. There you go. Good, good, good. I'd rather you barely get 6 than get the easy, easy 10. Okay? Barely get 6 from you. Here we go. 10 seconds left. Nice. There we go. Look at that. Final round here. That's the final round. Take a deep breath. Here we go. We made it. Final round. The best round. Here we go. 3, 2, 1. And let's begin. Final round. The best round because now she can get 6. We've got plenty of time. Six, she can get 6. Good, good, good. Get one or two more than you got last time. One or two more than you got last time. You don't have to get 10. These two have not been getting anywhere close to 10. We don't expect them to get 10. They're way too heavy. But they might get 6 or 7. All right. Folks at home, same thing, add a couple more. We'll just go for that full minute. These two may, may want to go to 10, but they, or they just go for that full minute. There we go. Exactly, exactly. There we go. 32 seconds left. Almost there, folks. Let's finish it out. Finish it. Final workout, the first workout of the year. Let's finish it off. Nice squat here. Good. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Squat down. Press it up nice and tall. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good. Press your breathe. Exhale as you press it up. Good. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. The legs. There we go. 14. Good. Yeah, two more. Two more, two more, two more reps. Yeah, you got two more. You got two more. Yeah, I say you do. There you go. Go ahead. Five, four, one more. One more. One more. Three, two, one, and time. Right. Let's finish it. She's gonna finish it out. Good. Excellent. And how much yet? Counting? Seven. Nice. Seven. Five. Five. Excellent. Good. Fantastic. Look at that, folks. First workout of the year for them. For you folks, that you've been doing this for the whole month. Enjoy the rest of your Friday, folks. Daniel, Suma, thank you to them. Take care, folks. Enjoy your weekend. Have a good one. We'll see you next week.